All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Joey there. And we are super excited for another Sarah Millican video. That's right, two index fingers up. You all know what that means. I just don't. Which one are we checking out today? Food for the bedroom. Now this can go, knowing Sarah Millican, yes. this can go in so yeah, many ways. Probably. This could be like sexy food, like. More than likely. <laughs> what, who was it that we were watching? where this boy was saying how his parents have whipping cream in their bedroom and that he like ate all of it and they're like mm. hopefully they had a refrigerator in there too <laughs> that reminds me i cut to buy whipped cream today not for that reason Nikolai. we so i buy certain like whipped cream cherries whatever for like sundays for like once a week hot cocoa fancy desserts for the kids or whatever yeah that's fancy um and then i buy it and then like a week later we get to about using it and it's always gone these kids <laughs> crying out loud so i can see a kid doing that yeah food in the bedroom oh my gosh let's get to like the the non sarah millican probably type of it who does not like eating while they're watching tv laying down in bed being super lazy right when we were before we got married she's like you better not do that i don't want any crumbs in the bed blah 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 and guess who eats in the bedroom watching tv holla at your boy but i don't put crumbs in my bed oh my gosh she will wake up in the middle of the night What's this crumb doing here that I just laid on? Yes, I don't like crumbs in the bed. Oh. I usually, I haven't, I actually haven't really eaten that much in the bed recently. Yeah, because you've eaten here. If there's any crumbs, it's, it's the kids. Cause they're eating. And I don't like it. I don't like food upstairs. I want food in the kitchen or the dining room. That is it. Kitchen, dining room. I don't even like them eating in the family room. I get so, so mad. She doesn't want them eating at all. It's kind of, it's, it's a problem. Just kidding. We're going to go ahead and check out this video. If you like, if you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload videos. Uh, tuck my hair. I, I was hoping you would do that. Thank goodness. I right? know. It's really important to tuck my hair. You never tell a girl to tuck her hair. I'm glad you didn't. Here we smell. But we've started sort of spicing things up in the bedroom. There's different ways you can do this, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> uh, the first way you can do is you can have a shower. A nice couple lay at the front. Have you ever had a shower together? There's, oh, he thinks you I might do it. Why <laughs> Because I said to my, the first thing I said to my fella, I said, you know what, he was going in the shower and I said, maybe he'd like some company. <laughs> and he said, just give us five minutes till I've washed my arse. <laughs> five minutes for that? But whenever we have a shower, it always starts off really well and then halfway through I realise, this is just cleaning now, isn't it? There's <laughs> nothing sexy going on anymore. It's when he says the words, arms up. <laughs> but he is very thorough. All right. Other things you can do, you can get dressed up as well. Got a nice couple in, in the middle here. Have you ever dressed up? Fella, have you ever dressed up like in an outfit? Or, no, you haven't. How old are you, how old are you guys? 38. 38. You see, because I still oh, yeah, a couple are much older than you guys. So late 60s, early 70s. And you can always tell when a couple have been together too long. They had that sort of empty, sad. <laughs> hollow expression and what happens is you can the way you can tell is when you ask them how long they've been together and uh, before they do a, a number they always do a little horse impression so you go how long have you two been together and they go <laughs> <laughs> 30 years 40 years fuck knows <laughs> so i asked the old man i said have you ever dressed up like in an outfit or a uniform for sex and he went no so i looked at his, his good lady and i said is there anything you'd like him to wear in bed and she went, a shroud. <laughs> but I also asked a, a young lad, much younger than you, sort of 16 or 17, I shouldn't have been talking to a 16-year-old boy about sex. But I just thought it would give us something to rub me button to later on. Um, <laughs> so everybody know, but people know what that is, don't they? Just, some people have different names for it. My, uh, my friend said, what's rubbing your button? And I had to do a little action. And she said, oh, you mean checking your lettuce? <laughs> Yes. I don't know what that is. But this young lad, 16-year-old, of course he'd never dressed up for sex. Just having sex is excellent. But I asked him if he was going to get dressed up, what would he dress up as? And he went, fireman, fireman. Oh, oh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> Although we're not talking about sex anymore. It's just pyjamas. <laughs> I was going to say that I've dressed up, but I haven't really. It's slightly different. I was once on top, and he tried to put a sock on one of my boobs. <laughs> It's not the same thing, is it? No girl ever wants to hear that her boobs are lovely and long. <laughs> and it stayed on as well, and I wasn't sure.
furniture with it to be pleased or not. <laughs> Other things you can do. Uh, you can use food. Let's get what about, fella on the end? What kind of food do you think you could use in sex? Ice cream. Ice cream's a good answer. What about nice fella in a nice chucky shirt? What kind of food do you think? Chocolate. Chocolate? <laughs> Somebody shout cucumber. <laughs> Ice cream and chocolate, and what about, uh, what about nice fella here? What kind of food do you think to use in sex? Absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. Oh, look at his wife's face. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, she looks quite happy, like they haven't even needed that. <laughs> we haven't got to that stage that you're at with your boyfriend of five years. Fuck off. <laughs> I, know, I like asking fellas, because fellas come up with a wide variety of interesting answers. I've stopped asking ladies, no offence to the ladies, but ladies always say chocolate, chocolate sauce, chocolate cream, fuck it, I'll put a Twix up there, whatever. <laughs> as long as I can have a chocolate bag afterwards. <laughs> but I asked, uh, I asked a man recently what kind of food he had used in sex, and he said noodles. <laughs> and I've had a bloke say chips and a bloke say curry, and I think generally men are picking things, so they're probably going to have for their tea anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just using their partners as plates. Hey, still. But I asked an old man, couldn't resist an old man in his 80s, I said, what kind of food do you think would be good to use? And he said, ice cream, and ice cream's a good sort of classic answer. But it wasn't so much the answer he gave as the noise that he made while he was thinking. Because he went like this. <laughs> oh, oh, he and while he did that noise, what goes well with vagina? <laughs> ice cream. The guy just said cream. He said cream, but he went like that, like squirty. And I thought, well, obviously, you're not just going to spoon it at her. <laughs> but she catches it in all the right places. <laughs> then he went like this. He went, pack her full. Oh. <laughs> so glad that you're as horrified as I was. <laughs> pack her full. <laughs> to be fair, he was a plasterer. <laughs> I'll just smooth that over. Not get any more bother from that crack. But the last thing you can do is you can do dirty talk on you. We thought we'd give it a go. We'd never done it to previous partners. We thought we'd give it a go. And I said, well, I'll start off, you know, because I'm, you know, an independent woman. I didn't do that. That'd be a really weird way of starting off, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> and I didn't know what you're supposed to say, and I just went, ooh, uh, <gasps> um, I've been a bad girl. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and he just went, apology, I accept it. <laughs> but recently I've had a bit more practice and he started off and he went, you've been such a bad girl. <laughs> but I think I'm going to have to punch you. No. <laughs> He's gone too far there, hasn't he? Killed it. But I misheard me and said punch, he said punish, which apparently entirely acceptable in terms of sexy lingo. But he hadn't really thought it through, because I said, what kind of punishment did he have in mind? He said, do the dishes! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh! That. Do the dishes! Fuck, <laughs> the worst ever at that. <laughs> oh, you know exactly what to say. We can stop this right now and just get right to it. <laughs> I thought she was going to say she misunderstood and said, yeah, go ahead. And he punched her. Oh, my gosh. Like no. <laughs> Do the dishes. You are absolutely right. You totally called it. Because it's Sarah. Food for the bedroom. 100%. And for the shower, supposedly. Um, but she's not wrong on that. It just becomes cleaning. Arms up. <laughs> Have a turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, my biggest problem is always like I'm cold. I'm like, I want to be under the water the whole time. Oh I'm gosh. too selfish with the water. Too many things I can say, but I'm going to not say it. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed our reaction. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.